All right, man. Episode three is here. Let's go, man. Y'all ready? My favorite Brits. Episode two was fucking packed, though. Episode three about to be crazy. Let's go, man. Oh, hello. Don't play. Thank you. Oh Mr. Producer. So, I'm halfway through my first term at a new school. Nice badge, Dickhead. And, well, <laughs> it could have been worse. I will get you. I still have all my limbs. Hey! Just. I've met loads of new people. Oh. And best of all, no one's tried to fuck my mum yet. She's fit. Yes. She is fit. I don't have a wank over my mum. And unlike my old school, there were girls here. My God. And if there's one thing I now know about girls, and let's face it, there is only one thing I now know about girls, it's the boys who drive are a whole lot more attractive than those who don't. Uh, yep. As he was the oldest, our chances of getting a car to impress the ladies rested on Simon's shoulders. Gently I hope I never reverse oh. like that. And his stupid, Careful. uncoordinated size 10 drive. feet. Careful. Little bit more. Oh, this I'm just not great at parallel parking. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! So I asked me Nan. She wants to know if he wants to melt parking. <laughs> Steady on, boys. It's not easy for Simon. OK, let's try again. Oh, oh shit! Yep. Right. Um, right. Um, okay, off we go. Simon into first. Shouldn't you leave a note? <laughs> no, we're driving off. Quickly now. Drive. Drive. Oh. So it looked like it might be quite some time before we were picking up girls in a car. Wait, right, Jack. I have just had the best lesson ever. Jack Stevens dropped his ruler next to Miss Tim's, and when she bent over to pick it up, I saw loads of leg on the way down and a little bit of tit on the way up. You lucky git. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's all locked away up here in the visual wank bank. <laughs> you passed your written test. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I got the practical tomorrow. I thought this might give me a few tips. Um, I don't think there is a section on how not to be a whining little bitch. Brilliant. If you pass, we could go on a road trip. Could do. Maybe we could see what Carly's doing and go somewhere with her. Look, a car is like a mobile pulling machine. Forget about Carly, forget about all the girls at this school. There's a whole world of pussy out there. <laughs> He's right. All right, I am Jay. I swear <laughs> I'm fucking Jay. <laughs> ah! oh, I love this guy, bro. They expressed it like a terrible misogynist. Thank you. Why don't you come to Thought Park? There's always loads of birds there. Oh my gosh, yes. Thought Park. I can get you free tickets. How? I work there. Mopping up sick. Some sick. How come you never mention you work at Thorpe Park before? I used to work at Asda and you never asked about that. I suppose your old man needs the money. He doesn't, actually. But paying for rent boys can't be cheap, Neil. Well, my dad's not bent. Why is he paying for rent boys, then? <laughs> He's not. Well, they give him freebies. Look, I think we should lay off Neil a bit. <laughs> is it right, Neil, that Thorpe Park has one of only two pulley launch coasters outside North America? I don't know. It is right. I don't know if my dad will let me go anyway. What's it got to do with your dad? He's paying for my car. He might not let me do long journeys yet. Surely he'll want you to get sucked off by a little lovely on the teacup ride. <laughs> Are there really loads of girls there, Neil? Oh, yeah. Sometimes on the ride, their boobs pop out. You only get a split second of ticks. They're going at about 70 miles an hour. But it's still good, though. This is perfect. Simon passes his test, drives us to Thorpe Park, Neil gets us freebies, and I get to ride... The man's cock in the bushes. <laughs> the <Nemesis laughs> I love this This is going to be awesome if I pass my test. Yeah, no Why are you saying there. these things? Well, I think you should just be a bit more grateful, to be honest. Oh, Christ, it's got a tape deck. See, that's good. No, it's not. <laughs> You can't even buy tapes anymore. Oh, you're being melodramatic again. Now, why don't you go and show Will? I bet he'll be jealous. Yeah, he'll be really jealous of how yellow it is. Now be careful. <laughs> That's the most valuable present you'll ever get. <clears throat> fucking hope not. I heard that. The good news was that Simon had passed. Yo, the not so good news was bright yellow and parked in my driveway. Well, I don't think it's too bad. No, of course. It's not great, though, is it? No. But don't look at the external realities, think of the immense possibilities. What? Yes, it's a Cinque Cento Hawaii, but it's also oh, freedom. Oh, what? It's the possibility of driving our own destiny. We can be what we want now, push our destiny. lives literally in the direction we want them to. Oh, Christ, is that a tape deck? <laughs> Check out the bend of a bill. It looks like a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, you could add the word bender to anything. The bender mobile. Like, what the fuck is that? Just jealous because his family haven't discovered fire yet. You fucking what, Mackenzie? Nothing, nothing. Oh, hello, Mrs. Mackenzie. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, of Is course. This your car? She comes oh, with no, the it's, uh, it's Cooper's. Oh. Shame about the colour, Simon. Right. Um, Mum, we're just off to Thorpe Park and we're running a bit late, so we should probably go now. Thorpe Park? 
Do you ride roller coasters? Is it safe? Yes, it's incredibly safe. Well, won't you be frightened? You cried when he went on the ghost train. <laughs> I was five years old. Mum, please. Oh, I just worry about you, Petal. Oh, I, actually, I should get you a jumper. Go. Just drive before she gets back. <laughs> At least he knows how to use them. But that thing goes. Simon's dad needn't have worried. Like there was no danger of him getting up enough speed to kill himself, despite the fact Thorpe Park would be shut in a few hours. A New Yorker walks faster than that car. Where's new car inside? Round here. Fuck me. Did you get a free Barbie when you buy one of these? <laughs> shotgun. After you. I call shotgun. <laughs> yeah. What? Shotgun. It means I get the front seat. In what way could it possibly mean that? It just does. How Look. does that mean that? Like, I, I know, know what it is, but who came up with shotgun? I don't know. Is it because the passenger has to carry a, a blicky? Let me not go. Yeah, I, that, that's 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 the, that's the only thing I can do. What? What? I have no clue. Shotgun. We drove over here with me in the front seat. We've come to pick you up. We've picked you up. Now in you get, and I'll return to my previous position. It's not happening, freak. I called shotgun. He's right. He did call it. What? You're no, back that's in not here. Get in the back wheel. Ow! Ow! I'm getting in. Get off! I'm hyperflexing. My bones will pop out. So we had a car. It was a shit car, but it was still a car. All we needed now was some girls. Oi, oi, up ahead. A car full of muff. Pull alongside him, Si. I can't. Pull a who? Huh? Muff. Map. Is that mean like girls? Like yeah, bitches? I guess, uh, group. What? How should I, I spell <laughs> that? <laughs> Math. M A F. Muff. UK slash. <laughs> Not mug. Muff, bro. Get your spelling on point. Yeah, how do I spell it? <laughs> Sp M O F. Yeah, YouTube. How the fuck know. do you spell that shit? I don't know how to car, just put type in car full of muff. Uh, in, in, in betweeners. Muff. Something has to pop up. Nothing? Fuck. Guys, tell us what that means, man. What does car full of muff mean? Tell us in the comments section, please. Thank you. Left. My fucking. Can't code. figure it out. We'll just beep him. No. Don't be such a pussy! Oi, no, get off! Alright, alright! Alright. <laughs> Hello, lovelies. Follow them. Alright, I suppose. Go on, go. Oh, you dickheads! They're getting away! Jesus, you make it sound like we're about to attack them. <laughs> I can't believe you lost the muff wagon. Well, what are we gonna do anyway? Follow them until they're forced to drive to a police station? They love it, you tall. It's called flirting. Yeah, a terrifying and unsolicited form of flirting. And if you didn't drive like such an old woman, we might actually catch <laughs> up with them. I'm not gonna risk our necks for some random girl. Yeah, well, I'd give a left bollock for them, so get a fucking move on. Actually, I think that's them up ahead. Yes! We've caught up with them! Do a left! What are you doing? Pull out! No! There's a space, you can go now. No, it's not safe. Are you winding me up? Look, go now! Thought part's gonna be closing soon, Si. Look, fuck off, all right? I've just passed my test and I'm not gonna crash because you twats can't wait two minutes! Just fucking go! But there's a gap, quickly! All right, for fuck's sake! Oh, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, they got another oh, that's so bad. Bad. Oh, oh shit. No. Now look what you've made me do. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are they going so fucking slowly? Yeah. I mean, it's almost as if they don't want to see their dearly departed fly out the back onto the A320. <laughs> oh, God. It wasn't a great start to our first road trip. And knowing our luck, they'd be bearing on. <laughs> when I look back on my life, I'm pretty sure that ride will be a low point. <laughs> But with a bit of luck, the others wouldn't find out who I'd insulted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. This is the best. You're going to hell. <laughs> so I'd finally got to ride the Nemesis, which wasn't as much fun as I'd hoped. It would be a long journey home, made longer by Simon carrying the door and my heavy sense of shame. Well, it can't be too hard to find. It's the colour of my name's piss. Why are you watching your nan piss? Oh, Christ. What am I going to say to my parents? Will the door go back on? Stop shitting yourself. Right, Neil said his sister's boyfriend will be able to fix it. Oh, he won't be able to fix that. What? You said he'd be able to fix it, no problem. You said he works in a garage. He does. BP garage. He mucks about with cars, but he won't be able to fix that in a million years. The door's come off. 
Oh, this is a disaster. My dad's going to go mad. It'll be fine. We'll find someone else to fix it. I know a bloke who builds Formula One cars. He owes me a favour. I don't think your make-believe friend will fix this. Look, we'll find a proper mechanic on the way back. It can't be too hard. As long as it's fixed good as new and my parents don't know, that's all I care about. Oh, look, here it is. Car part D. Ah. Whoa. Oh. oh, dear. What the fuck has happened? Holy shit, what's happened? At least they left the tape deck. I don't believe this. Oh, there's no explaining this to my dad. I mean, who and why? <laughs> oh, my God. How did they have enough time to do all that? Makes sense. Yeah, fuck. fuck. Let's get him. Jay, I'm not going to chase after and then fight the Happy Foundation bus. <laughs> How are we getting home, then? It's true. Girls do like cars. They just don't like shitty little yellow cars that ruin funerals and don't have all the doors they were made with. Girls are also less keen on boys who wear speedos, borderline sex pests, and people who insult the That's disabled. Me. Inconsiderate <laughs> assholes. That's something to be proud of. But it's not all bad. What we learned today is there isn't a car on the planet that can make us cool, whatever state it was in. <laughs> Dad, what you need to know is it wasn't my fault. I what love that that's an opener. This brings me back to high school, bro. Yeah. Those are the good old... I mean, we, did, we didn't do uh, shit nearly this no. fucking crazy. No. But it was a good time. Yeah. It was a good time. For all the homies, man. Uh, these guys are sick. This kind of makes me... All right, I know we're from America and all that stuff, but this kind of makes me interested in... Growing up in the UK, and I got a lot of family over there, and I have not been there no, once. And it's, it's not in, I'm gonna get in the fight. What do you mean? In the fight? You're probably gonna get stabbed over there. Yo, <laughs> I don't think they do it over there. Uh, what? That's in all like they London? Do, bro. It, they're known for that. It's you, it, it, it's it's a well known danger to get because yeah. they don't have guns, so you'll like get stabbed over there. But they got like a stabbing a day. Yeah, it's 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 pretty violent. And and my cousin is from like I think it's Nottingham, so I think it's considered the hood. I think that's where I don't even know where the fuck he's from, but. I gotta visit the UK, man. But I gotta get my fucking vocabulary straight so I can talk shit to people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just call him a wanker everywhere you yeah, go. But, yeah, but like that's you not fucking offensive enough. wanker. Like you're a wanker. You wank that motherfucker every day. You know what I'm saying? What's the issue? How many All times? Right. To be honest, how many times? Don't worry about it. All right, but like over or under like five? Under. Over that's under three? Capped. Under. You're capping! That's over or under three? Why is that capping? Night and morning, that's two already. Night and morning, that's two. I, the I other, don't got the other time day you said on a good day is five. Yeah, you said. This mother, you're lying. Which one is we it? Have the tape. We have the tape. Keep the tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyways, alrighty. There's episode three, fellas. Episode four. Uh, coming soon. Coming soon. Let us know what you got to... <laughs>